Maru and his friends took the space byway and merged into the Woe Zone. Known, known to some as the Space Graveyard, it was said to consume all who entered it. Just a little bit longer, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes glimmering, Squirps continued to forge on, to forge onward. Would Mar and his friends get their hands on the pure heart at long last? Hey guys, it's Grin Trump One, and I had a Mario Kart match with a YouTube, with another YouTube friend yesterday. It was fun. Um, the guy's username was uh, Mr. Absolutely Flawless. It's the video that was uploaded directly before this one was. So it's just it just says Mario Kart Wii Online Match, me versus Mr. Absolutely Flawless. It's actually it's actually pretty cool. The first race, the reason why I won was kind of cheap, so check it out. We're here, Squeagle, and this is the Woe Zone. Squirps has finally arrived, Squirly. Squirps is here. Squirps can't wait. Squirps is going to scurry ahead. Follow Squirps when you can. But remember, Space Grounds, this place is a super complicated maze. You'll get lost before you know it, so pay attention to where you're going, Squeer. Well, Squirps, we'll see you guys later at the spot where the pure heart awaits. Jeez, I keep voice cracking on camera. All right. I can't believe that creature left us at a time like this. But I must say, I do feel the presence of the pure heart. It's somewhere in the zone. Alright. So this is the war zone or space graveyard. Um. If you know what to do, this is ex an extremely easy maze. If you don't, it's the most difficult labyrinth you've ever done. Okay, so this is probably going to take two parts. One, because this is really long. Two, because there's a boss fight in this chapter. OMG, spoilers. Or uh, I should say quarter chapter, because that's what I call these things. Jeez. Yeah, you might notice we saw these guys in chapter three. Alright. I believe this is the wrong way. Yeah, this isn't the right way. Sorry. The right way is tack. Sorry, I'm quoting a book that I read. Um, okay, you want to hop up here and then flip into 3D and hop in through this door. Zero Trimer. Triple points. Triple coins. Makes these guys a lot easier to defeat. Crap. Oh, long last shake. Now, who you need is Peach. All you need is love. All you need is Peach. Okay, that guy is like impossible. Look. He's got an invisible barrier there, so he can't get to it. What you have to do is you have to flip into 3D and get into a space where he doesn't want you to be in. It has really low HP, so it's really easy to beat after that. And this is a dimension key. Alright. Flipping back into 3D. Popping out here. Now you go this way. No! Go back through the door. Yeah, that guy becomes really easy if you can get in all these jumps, but if not, difficulty emerges. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here. Those guys give you a crap ton of coins, so... Now what you want to do is you want to use the dimension key right here. No, you don't want to use the dimension key right there. That's why there's a lock on it. Come back here, piggy. Give me your coins. Come back here, little piggy. I won't hurt you. I'm just going to take all your money. Alright, now this part I got a lot. The first time I played this game, I 
Got really confused on this part. You need to take Princess Peach and then float across her there, there like that. Actually, I don't think you have to do that there, but what you, where you do have to use it is here. Because this door becomes... I don't think it's completely useless, but... I actually don't remember. Let me check. I think there's something you need to do over here. I'm just not sure what. I uh, well I was right about it not being completely useless. There's a locked door over there for later. But there's a pipe down here. And if memory serves, I believe there's a bonus thing down here if I could just get up. Thank you. Oh, there's no 3D coins here. Alright. <laughs> I find that the... I really find that the gravitational puzzles in here are really good ones. Yeah, so... What the... No! No! Nah, nah, nah. Okay, now we hop back up here. Now we use Peach. Look across and do this door. Which we find this puzzle. What you need to do is you need to flip into Mario. Go down here. Hit this block. I believe that's called a gravitational block. I'm not sure that makes sense. Enter this door. Jeez, how many times have I done that this quarter chapter? Like 50? Peach time. <sighs> I'm really, it's really tedious because there's a whole bunch of times where I have to switch out characters. God, and I'm getting way too close to the camera. It's, I'm like breathing on it. Right, now it's Mario time. Ha! You're not hurting me today, little red thing. Okay, now what you have to do. I find I like I find it funny how the key and the locked door are in the same room. All right, that is the dimension key. Okay, now you have to go and hit that dimensional block again. I mean, that gravitational, not dimensional. Stand up on this thing. Up here. Flip back into 2D. Uh. Alright. Now I'll just hit over here. Sorry if my commentary is not too interesting today. Um, it's almost never interesting though. Um, set on over here and open this door. Yay, opening doors! It's not like this is what this entire uh, quarter chapter is about. Hit the gravitational block again. Now I haven't done that for a, for a while. No, done this for a while, so it's really good for Nintendo to uh, put that little thing there because we might not be able to figure it out because we haven't done that for a while. Like I said, like a bajillion times. <coughs> it's 
excuse me. Um, what you have to do now, I believe, is not get into peril. Jeez. Get out of my way. There. Uh, I guess I better use an item. I'll use a fried shrimp plate. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll do that. Actually, if we go with this door, does. Right, uh, that's not right. Crap. We have to go all the way back here. Come on here. Come in here, and we're going to find the key. How do I know that? Just a wild guess. All right. Nice. Zombie Sherm. You're very nice. Jeez, why can we have gotten hit by the zombie Sherm and then collected the mushroom? Oh, it sucks. Alright, dimension key. So yeah, I heard that they're going to make a new uh, Paper Mario game for the 3DS and they're going to go back to the RPG style of doing things, which is pretty nice, <laughs> because I think everyone liked it way better when it was RPG style, including myself. Alright, so flipping. Now there's a save block here, which means there's a boss coming up. Slow pokes. Now we're going to find out who's calling us slow pokes in the next part, alright? I guess we'll see you guys then.